Welcome back everyone today. I have another video. This time we're playing Black Yellow Big Mom. Uh, I love this leader. I had a very high in my uh, tier list le uh, uh, leader because I thought it was really good and I thought it was really good against uh, Sakatsuki at first. Uh, the problem is that Sakatsuki started playing the 10 drop Kaido and that's the only card that you cannot outgrind out of Sakatsuki because before you could just not attack them and start them out, uh, destroy everything they play. Uh, start playing big moves, eventually you're going to win the game, right? Uh, the problem is that now you can do that. I mean, you can try to do that as much as you can, but eventually they're going to play a 10-drop Kaido and they're going to drop four cards and they're going to have enough removal for your stuff and that's where it comes very, very difficult to win. And uh, yeah, I mean, still, I think it's a it's a leader that is worth playing because it's, it's really good in general. It's like the plays that it can do are really, really nice and... I decided to focus the deck now a little bit more into the um, tempo removal and then end the game with big moms. I think that works very well with this leader. And um, the way it works is basically I'm playing uh, Sakatsuki like as a, my seven, my five, I mean seven don't turn or my six don't turn to just like slow down my opponent and have a body that can just start applying pressure. And then I have Karakuri to heal. Like, the idea is to keep my opponent bore as clean as possible. So by the time, like, Lin Lin comes into play, yeah, the opponent might have a couple of life. It doesn't really matter because you're still going to just burn their life, heal a life, and then they have to deal with your board consistently. And the idea is that doing that curve is much better than uh, whatever I was trying to do before um, with, like, 9-drop Yamato and all this stuff because it's too expensive. You can no longer starve, like, Sakatsuki to do that play so I'd rather just be like more tempo removal uh, keep putting bodies out that like you have to remove and then temp drop big mom eventually hopefully closes the game and if they don't see a 10 drop Kaido then you are very advantageous to win uh, and there's a lot of removal in, the, in like in, the, in that curve because you have Gadatsu, you have Sakatsuki, you have Karakuri and by the time you're playing a 10 drop big, uh, big mom they don't have that many creatures to pressure with you with and then they have to deal with this big creature that can overtake the game and can win out of nowhere so uh also to complement that i play a bajillion blockers <laughs> uh in the in the, in the um, name of rebecca porcelino sabo and uh, bartolomeo uh those are a lot of blockers that you can play and then uh just trying to get recursion trying to get like advantage early on and I like Rebecca, even though he doesn't get to play like Hina, like uh, the list that I was doing before. I still think it's, 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 it's nice to play her because I'm playing Kobe in this list for that reason. Because there's some times where you can go Eruption into Kobe and then just remove anything. And that's really good. That's really nice. And the reason why I'm playing Eruption is that it's very good like with all the removal cards. Like Eruption plus Sakatsuki is remove a 7, which is nice. Eruption plus Skadatsu, it could sometimes be remove a 7 too. Or a, or a six or a four. It's still like really nice. Like it, they can go in combination very well. Eruption plus Karakuri is just remove anything. Like it's just really nice, and you can just fit it at any point. Eruption plus Kobe is re just remove a five. So it, it, it's really nice to close games. Like you, you don't have a Eruption Humbleys, but you can do Eruption Rebecca Kobe or a Rebe a straight up Kobe, and then you have a, a, a possibility to clear a blocker and go for a game. It's uh, it's I think it's fine I think it's it's okay I'm playing Shirahoshi too because I mean hitting out alive getting rid of some bricks just searching for cards is fine uh, I don't think there's other cards that just like I'm very missing that the, this card is not good enough uh, I'm still playing Beach of course because the trigger out alive it can some randomly just win your game so um, yeah I mean still very good I'm still playing a lot of 2K Connors because you do want to have a lot of survivability. Uh, you want to combo a lot because you want to be uh, like healthy in some spots and just try to uh, be on the best spot to play your Lin Lins. Uh, since you're a 4 life leader, you want to have some combo power for that reason. Uh, Sabo a 4 off of course because it digs through your deck, it gets cards into the graveyard, it does a lot of things in this deck, it's just very good. Uh, it gives you, it gets rid of the bricks in your hand, um, I think it's very worth it to play him. And I'm not playing events to just chaos stuff anymore because I'm not trying to start my opponents anymore. I'm just trying to just clear my opponents' uh, cards by like Sakatsuki or Karakuri. And then that gives them life anyway, so my effects are going to be active anyway. 
So I think it's like like the best way to play the deck right now. Um, it's still gonna have some problems against Akatsuki, as I'm saying. But the any, any, many other matchups are gonna be like decent enough. So uh, I like the deck still. Uh, but it, since they start playing ten drop Kaido, it's become a lot more difficult to win with this deck uh, in that matchup because it does draw four cards and bails them out out of difficult situations, of course. But with that being said, uh, let's go see some gameplay. All right, this hand is amazing, so I'm gonna keep. Um, the reason why it's amazing is because it has Big Mom and it has the removal on this turn, so it's actually very good tempo uh, like wise. And I don't have to attack this deck at all. I can just sit back and do nothing. And now I have a combo into play Rebecca. That's amazing. I think I, I would do that. I don't wanna. I wouldn't want to take some damage early on. And then he goes like, what? He cannot play anything because of that too. Maybe we even take honestly. I kind of want to play something, yeah. I'll play the Rebecca, it's not bad. She will eventually be good. Uh, let's get this. The, the, the nice thing here is that even if he, whatever he plays, it just doesn't matter because Tendra Big Mom is just such a good card against them. That it does not matter. Oh, this card is also really good against them. Because it says remove your guy. Let me get temple. Just don't have to play anything else. Uh, sure, I'll take it, I guess. And then on eight, uh, I should come out of this one. Then he's gonna heal my guy. I get to maybe kill this. Uh, do I need... How much do I need? One, two, three... On this guy, he becomes... Uh, one, two, three... One, two, three, four, five... No, it's not enough. So then... I guess I just attack this thing and don't play the guy anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll just play attack for seven. You know what? I should play this one because of the uh, big mom that is coming. Not big mom, but um, forgot the name. Um, I think we can discard this one, and we can discard Gadatsu? No. Maybe. Yeah, let's discard Gadatsu, it's fine. Because it's, the 9 drop is coming, and I don't want to just lose something to the 9 drop. Then, once I start developing the 10 drop, it's, it's fine. It will be fine. Uh, let's just come out of this one, that's fine. If he doesn't want to attack with this, it's okay with me. Although he should, this turn is free to attack with this one. And then we're going to attack twice. Put him to two, so that way the Yamato doesn't heal. Okay. It's actually not bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to kill anything with this, to be honest. Attack for five. Take it, please. Let him go. Ooh, that was the next one. So we actually burn in the correct way, eh? And then we have a second big mom coming. Very, very powerful. And then we get to, like, burn an L. Or no, we maybe attack Karkari, probably. He does get to kill my Sabo for free. She's not great. But I think we're not in a in a bad spot here. I think we're we're rolling. 
Um, definitely comboing out of this one. Don't want to take the, the small damage. Uh, sure, I'll take this one. Ooh, nice. One and... Uh, I guess one Becca. He probably doesn't want to attack with this one, however. But now that he doesn't get to kill Sabo. So I'm saying he doesn't have it. Maybe he's just waiting for when next turn when I burn him. Hmm, interesting. I should attack with leader first. A block. I don't want to go to two. But now I get to attack this for free, so that's great. I guess I don't get to attack. Oh! Damn, that's terrible. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to attack this one. He's going to block it. Um... And I guess attacking doesn't do anything, so might as well just burn. <clears throat> and then from here, I could take some damage and start using my leader ability. It's fine. Yeah, block. Take this too, and then start using the leader ability to heal. Oh boy. Oh, okay. That's fine. Sure. So you're gonna go in game on this one? Play a seven drop, I guess? And there's nothing that scares me here. Well, I knew it was going to happen. And then I attack the leader here. And heal myself. Well, it should do the this guy first, right? Just in case. This one and this one. Then I go attack the leader for eight. He has to heal. I mean, he has to block. I mean, combo out of this. Oh, let's do this one. Oh, I, I guess the Kobe was good, actually. Okay. Then I go attack this one. I'm gonna let it die. Attack this one, just burn a card from your hand, that's fine too. I'm okay with that. And then we just let him go. Yeah, I don't have to attack this turn. Next turn we can just ma just as easily go for a game. And he has to pull some magic here to be able to kill us. So my cards don't get tapped. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should just conserve my blockers here. We have enough attackers to go for game. Sure, I guess. You can go big attack, big attack, and I can just go for game next turn. Or I can just keep healing myself, honestly. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Um, trying to think. I guess I just block. Sure. Seven.
Mm, no blocker. One, two, three, I guess. It attacks for eight, seven. Okay, I guess I block. And then here, uh, is it easier to just go this way? I mean, I think it's about the same, right? Because what's gonna happen? I go, I think I can just go attack 12. See what he does. If it's a trigger, then it's fine. And then attack 12 and 5. Yeah, it's probably far better. It has to be like a good trigger here. And then he has to discard one card. And then I go, uh, yeah, burn it. And then attack 12 and 5. There is no possible card co combination of cards. That's what I'm saying. Like, big Mom is like the the big make uh, like difference maker in this matchup. Definitely changes the matchup a lot because it's hard to beat a Big Mom on, on, on this side. All right, so we're gonna play against Sakatsuki. Um, you know what? This hand it's okay. I think I can I can live with this hand. <clears throat> we'll see what happens from here. Uh, we're going second, so it's better for us, I think. Uh, but we're going to attack. I think attacking this matchup is going to be useful for us. Uh, it's probably going to have the answer for us stuff. However, it's not great. Uh, and we're going to probably heal him too, so... Take it. I don't think this is a good matchup anymore because it used to be good where you, you, you could you could start them and starve them, and then it would be it, like it would have been really nice. But now, I mean, this is a nice card to draw. Um, I mean, I guess I can starve one turn, force him to not be able to play anything here. Um, sure. Hmm, character is not great here, but we'll do what we can. See if he's gonna, I mean, if he has the humblest, he has the humblest. If not, he plays into our stuff, which is great. Okay, he doesn't play into our stuff, but at least we have something here. Then we go this one, uh, maybe the Kobe. And then we attack here. Oh, he comboed that one. Interesting. So, um, okay. Well, he didn't have an answer for this thing before, so. Let's see. Yes, we'll block with the Savile. He has double five attack, so we get to block for free. If he has a seven drop, we get to put it into his life. I mean, it's not great, but it's not the worst either. He should have done it this one, I think. Uh, to the bottom of the life. Attack, I guess. See if he wants to take a life for free. He does. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That is not a bad play. But again, we're still in a mm, kind of eh kind of situation because if he starts doing, um, I mean, if I draw a ten drop big mom, we're not in that terrible, terrible spot. <clears throat> okay, that at least only kills one of them. Silver lining. And then we get to kill this one and maybe kill two things with uh, Kobe. You know, not the worst. And if he attacks with that guy, 
to play for us. Silver line. Ooh, hold on. No, I still think they got that. So here is is better. And the uh, the Kobe. Let's kill this one. And then let's attack for six. And let's attack for six. I think is fine, because then we're gonna play big mom. And then we'll go from there. Oh, he, he blocked, so that's fine. That's okay with us. He could play 10 drop Kaido. And it's not gonna be great, but whatever. If he doesn't do the 10 drop Kaido, then we're in a good spot then at that point. Because he only has five cards in hand, and these big moms are gonna be uh, very, very good. So he's gonna do Rob Lucy. That's good. It's not a bad play for him, but I think we can get away with some things here. I would like to combo this one though. Then we'll see what he does. He, of course, is going to kill both. That's fine. But he wasted the Ice Ages, so he's not going to have too many answers for this. He could... Oh, he has Pilaf. Okay. So I maybe he doesn't play Dragon? Uh, sure. Take it. You know what? I'm not going to use this, so might as well just discard a card. Um, let's attack with leader, I mean with this one first, probably take it. Hmm. Well, attack with leader, I mean with this guy. What do I have to be afraid of? Nothing really, really. And then let him go. Now we have him at, at one, so he's within, uh, within kill distance. And then we're gonna play a couple of Rebecca's next turn. Maybe play something at Rebecca. Yeah, we can play a Kobe. No bad. That's why I play the Kobe in this deck. Uh, no, not without a fight. And I'm completely in this one because I might buy him back, so I don't know yet. Not just gonna let my blocker go. I could also just heal if he attacks my leader. Heal with Lin Lin. Another option. Oh, he's gonna go for Lin Lin, eh? Can he do such a thing? He discard a lot of minus in. Maybe he can. He play, if he plays another Hina out of somewhere. Not a, an impossible solution. Yeah, and then Houndblaze. That's a good one. Mm. I mean, I have to. Oh, that's double blocker. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Hmm. I guess I shouldn't take the damage here. Ha 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 ha, hell yeah. And attack you <laughs> now this is where I want to be because maybe I can kill one of the blockers and be in a good spot oh hold on it's not over it's not over uh, maybe we can buy two turns actually that's why I'm thinking that I might be able to
He's definitely not gonna be able to kill my uh, big mom. I refuse to believe such thing is he's capable of. He plays a 10 drop Kaido, which is not bad, but it's not gonna give him the results, I think. Oh. No, I think we have to kill the, the thing. Oh, we can only play one big mom. So we can save it for next turn, I guess. So that just leaves us with eight. One, two, three, four. So nine. You have to block both. Nine, twelve. And then next turn we might be able to. Draw this one. Do we get a Kobe? Or do we get a 2K Connor? Let's get a 2K Connor just in case. In case he goes like remove the Rebecca and try to go for game. Now this Borsalino is gonna give us a problem for sure. Uh, this is the this is the reason why it stays a bad matchup with the Kaido, honestly. Everything else we can beat, like we had him at zero resources to go for game there. But the um the Kaido was the only reason that he was able to come back there. Maybe able to win actually. But I mean it's not over yet. Depends on what he has, what kind of removal. Going for game I don't think is a possibility. Rebecca, we can beat a Rebecca. We might be able to beat a Rebecca. I'm not entirely sure. Got a Rob Lucy. Rob Lucy, it's okay. That's not actually good enough. Oh, well, we might be able to. Uh, all right, so what's going to happen? He's going to kill the Rebecca. Attack me. Let's do, let's think, maybe he has a Hound Blaze. Let's say he has a Hound Blaze. He has a Hound Blaze. This goes to nine. I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take it. No blocker. I mean, I have to be careful here because you can just attack for 12. <laughs> oh! But wait a second. What is this? Okay, let's think again. If he has Hound Blaze. If he has Hound Blaze. This goes to 15, 17, 18. Do I have enough? Hold on. 15, 17. 17, that's 12. Maybe I don't even need to because I can just kill the Rebecca in the time to go for game. If he does have Hound Blaze. So then I just combo out of this one. Oh. Uh, do I block? Oh, he has another blocker. Uh, yeah, I block. Okay. Is this more mana efficient? This will be a uh, three, four. Yeah, this is more mana efficient. So if he has nine, he got it. Yeah, that's where we are. We have 12 and we have a uh, million. And we have 9. If he has that, that's enough. And... Oh, he did have it. 
Can we survive another turn? No, I don't think so. There's no way. Uh, no. There's no way, but sure. Let's let him go. Maybe we hit a uh, uh, chicken or a ah, no. There's no way. Uh, yeah, he had enough anyway. Yeah, it was impossible. Fair enough. The dragon save him. Bail him out this turn, this game. Alright, we're gonna go against Isho. Um, not a good hand, so this mulligan. Much better. Um, alright, well, I could use this. No need to use it. So I'm just gonna pass, I guess. Ooh, baby five. Annoying card. Ah, but not that important, to be honest. He didn't attack us. Oh, yeah, but still, he didn't attack us. I'm gonna attack for five. He took it. That's great. This card cannot be killed by his effects, so it should be fine. He still should have attacked us, I think, but hey. I'll take it. Uh, yep, block for free. <laughs> sure thing. Should I save the Karakuri? I don't think so. For what? For what reason? I think I just played that one. Next turn, I probably just play Eruption Kobe. And we'll go from there. Yeah, this car is Kobe friendly. <laughs> uh, unless he's gonna tap it, doesn't really matter. I'll take it. Nah, you can have all the cars in hand that you want. Do have to kill the this guy. I should draw here. Deploy. Use this one to kill that one. Honestly, if he wants to keep getting cars, do I really mind? In on in all honesty, I don't. If he wants to keep using baby five here, I will outgrind him. You can go ahead and use three down per turn. I don't mind. We have cards like Big Mom in this deck. Oh, he does have um, Kobe. I mean, not Kobe, but Rob Lucy. So he gets to kill two things. Sure. Uh, no blocker. You know, I just take the life here. Doesn't matter. I think the next card that he wants to play is gonna be the the flamingo anyway. Um, so maybe attacking with Borsalino is not great. Definitely gonna play this one. Yeah, but if he if he want he doesn't get value out of the baby five, so he does that. So I'm okay with attacking with this guy. We can do something like uh, get back Sakatsuki, uh, kill his Porcelino. No, he's doing this. I don't mind. That's okay with me. <laughs> now you have to defend uh, a Lin Lin. Next turn we do Rebecca Sakatsuki. Pretty good for me. I should keep the Kobe, the Subway Mint. Okay. Um, I mean, we attack. We attack. We attack. 
probably gonna block. Oh, he didn't block. Interesting. Well, in that case, I might just play this Sabo. He's gonna... Okay, well, interesting preposition here. He's gonna... I see what he's gonna do. Let's play the Sabo. I think it's gonna be fine. We can do this next turn, I guess. He's gonna lock our board, and we get to attack with something for big. Can we KO his big guy? Nah, I don't think so. It's fine this way. He's gonna lock three things, and then we have an attacker. Do I mind this? I, I kind of want to have cards in hand. Should just block this one, honestly. 10 drop, 10 drop, 10 drop. This is where um, Big Mom would be really good. I guess I'm just gonna attack, kill this thing. Play Big Mom and get the Sakatsuki back to the hand. Don't really need to play anything else. See if he wants to kill his blocker for this. I'm okay with that. He's not gonna go for, I mean, if he attempts to go for a game, he's gonna lose, so. I'm okay with this. So yeah, he's gonna do the um, the block the um, lock my board once more. But I have two attackers, so it doesn't work as well as he thinks. Then I have the Rebecca here. So it's not great, that's what I'm saying. Like, unless he has enough counter power. I guess he could have enough counter power. Hmm. Let's do 10 and see if he can combo to that one. Oh, he didn't have 10, so he doesn't have enough for this one, right? 12? Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna play against Law. Uh, this hand, they choose to go second, so it's actually kind of decent because look at that too. I'm gonna keep it because Gadatsu is kind of like nice in this hand, and I think i mean it's not the greatest uh i definitely just not attack this turn i don't think so uh cycle this once because i mean i have too many non carnivals and i think i'm just only going to be able to do like one gadatsu and that's it whatever he plays here it gets to gadatsu and then we'll go from there We'll see what happens. Okay, we'll take it. That's a hard one to see. Um, okay, I mean, I guess we attack, right? The the question is not whether do I attack or not. The question is. Um, Like, what else am I going to do? Um, I mean, I don't have anything else, so it's fine. Oh, wow. He comboed that one. Why? 
of so good for us. Uh, these big moms are gonna be huge. No, I don't want to take damage. We're gonna be tapping out a lot. <sighs> this is, I mean, it didn't really matter. Uh, but this is just great. Because we're gonna put the things back into his life anyway. I mean, from next turn onwards, everything goes to his life either way. So it doesn't really matter. But he hasn't been fast enough for our deck. Because now we're going to start playing Tendra Big Moms. And let me tell you, those those do hit really hard. It deals a damage here, however. But that's fine. I mean... It's not that big of a deal as long as we can keep his board from being overwhelming I think it's gonna be fine if he plays out another blocker <laughs> no I think he would have played it first what the heck <laughs> I mean I take it but not what I'm expecting honestly <laughs> I don't know he probably has a lot of removal that's what it is Sure, buddy. And to the bottom, let him go. You know, the last card is a Beppu. It doesn't really make much of a difference. And we can go to one easily because we can always heal, so it's not that bad for us. But because he hasn't been doing anything, these big moms are going to be huge. And I guess he's going to remove this. Uh, that's what I will assume. Like with uh, whatever the case, and um, he's gonna play something, and okay. <clears throat> Unless it's a Zoro, it doesn't really matter. And this one, he's not gonna be able. At least he has a round table, I guess. That's the way that he does it. But I don't mind. If that's the case. I don't even think this deck's played round table anymore. And he cannot... I mean, he's gonna get this one KO easily. We have a lot of combo power. I mean, I think we're not really commanding the spot. Bartolomeo Kuma. I guess it kind of makes sense. So you don't have to use the leader ability. Weird card to play, honestly. You play it out of life, I guess, for free. Uh, I should not take this damage because I don't know how much it's gonna attack me with. Also, I should have come with the black card. Well, now we get the chance. He's not gonna be able to remove Lin Lin. There's no way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, okay, we'll attack here. He's gonna have one. Maybe I should have attacked with Lin first, actually. Just in case. Oh wait, we just win. You cannot take a five here. What the heck? 